DC Motors Philippines launched a new vehicle that appears to have redefined the entry-level pickup market segment. It's called the JAC T8. During the launch, JAC Motors made clear its intention to redefine the entry-level pickup segment, loading the T8 with features that are mostly found in top-of-line variants while pricing it below a million. JAC Motors sees the T8 as an affordable workhorse with the trappings and accounterments of pricier pickups. Typically, pickups are considered workhorses. When looking for their next pickup truck, as with other cars, consumers are normally forced to choose between the budget version and the top-of-the-line version. The budget versions are priced at sub-1 million. They are serviceable as a daily driver, but normally would lack the typical conveniences of a passenger vehicle. On the other hand, the top-of-the-line variants would give the same grip of the low-priced variants plus the convenience features that make daily driving enjoyable. However, they are normally priced beyond budget range. Again, Jack tries to marry these two considerations of consumers by offering the Jack T8 at a price point that will really make you forget normal. Before the formal launch of the JAC T8, JAC Motors Philippines brought select members of media to Hefei, China to check out the T8 and test the mid-size pickup on high-speed test tracks. And before bringing in the T8 to the Philippines, JAC Motors also had units tested in local conditions. This included participating in the Rally of Champions organized by MP Turbo. The JAC T8 unit was featured in the Rally of Champions with local and international race drivers competing to see who can get around the dirt course fastest on board the JAC T8. During the online launch streamed on JAC Motors' official Facebook page, members of the media and the race car drivers talked about their first impressions of the T8 and their experience riding and driving it. Ron De Los Reyes of Auto Review was among those whom JAC Motors brought to China. I noticed uh, from a distance that uh, it was a massive, it was a massive uh, uh, vehicle. Uh, the stance is very good, and uh, it looks like a very a tough uh, vehicle to to drive. This is a big uh, vehicle, and yet uh, when you uh, drive it on that uh, kind of track, uh, it, it it was uh, still. In, in balance, uh, uh, it has a good, it had a very good uh, balance on, on the track, and uh, I felt that uh, the, on the driver's uh, point of view, it was comfortable and uh, convenient, especially with all the uh, convenience features uh, it has on the instrument panel, especially with the with the big screen. Okay, and when you're backing up, uh, it has uh, reverse cameras. So for, for a long vehicle like a pickup, uh, the uh, reverse uh, camera setup uh, and monitor are very useful. Also among the first motoring journalists to see and experience riding or driving the JAC T8, is Red Santiago of Visor. The interior was surprised when I saw it because I really like the material shoes. The build quality is good. Um, there are a lot of features. It's pretty much loaded. Maceda really impressed. Uh, I was surprised with the performance of the Jack V8 because uh, there's a lot of power available even at the, the low range of the revs. And then uh, when you push it, it happened in revs up uh, way up to the red line. And, uh, the drive is really good, I really like it, it felt stable, there's enough power, enough braking power as well, and uh, basically, it's an enjoyable drive. Back home, local grassroots and serious racers also got their first look at the T8 at legs of MP Turbo's Rally of Champions event. And the T8 apparently impressed everyone who competed in the JAC's new pickup. Among them were the Antons, Father Carlos, and son Inigo. I had 
Turner. Uh, you know, we kind of like saw it and like that looks different, right? It's got that uh, impressive grill in front, which you know I've always liked the big grill in the front. The lights are look very up to date and modern, and uh, the stance of the pickup was very nice. Actually, the, the impressions got better when I drove it because it already looked good. You know, now it just has to feel good, and that's the first feeling it gave me when I drove it. It felt pretty solid. It felt like it had a lot of power, and. Uh, it was doing great. Of course, it was a new brand for me, so I didn't really know what to expect. But after driving it the first time, it just felt like other pickups and you know, it felt really good. So I was really surprised and I was really happy that it was um, felt good. It felt as good as the other brands. The JAC T8 used at the Rally of Champions got a pounding with drivers alternating taking it to the limit on the dirt track from morning till night but it held up according to those who were there. Ang surprising then is kung ano yung power niya in the morning syempre of course in the afternoon sa tagal na ano tili ka ng araw that was feb o ano so mainit yan eh di ba? So nag-expect kami na medyo mag-lose daw ng konti ang power or baka mag-drag ng konti ang clutch and so on pero hindi eh, up to late night tumatakbo kami up to 8pm yata wala nangyari at saka hindi yun yung easy driving ah it was a race so palit-palit lang ng driver so yeah, it did surprise us Mike Potenciano, the man behind MP Turbo was specially impressed by the T8's performance First leg, it was like a, a special class for, uh, for, for it for the Jack T8 pickup it showed us that uh, you know there was nothing wrong. Uh, all our problems or our thought of uh, you know apprehensions were uh, laid to rest. And then we approached you again for the next leg to be the official uh, rally of champions vehicle, which means that it is in the premier class. And that premier class uh, would be uh, sub that this vehicle, the T8 would be subjected to more uh, rigorous driving conditions and uh, luckily again it lasted the whole day no problem during the online launch brian badilla jac marketing director touted what made the jac t8 stand out in a crowded pickup market the t8 comes in two variants the luxury and the ultimate both sports a 2.0 turbocharged diesel engine partnered with a six-speed manual transmission which puts out 136 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque both featured front independent double wishbone and spiral springs and rear leaf spring suspension the ultimate variant comes with disc brakes on all four wheels while the luxury features drum brakes in the rear Badilla reveals that it is the ultimate variant that will set the T8 apart from the competition. The Jack T8 is engineered to go beyond. Given that you will have all the latest high technology safety features you need, but you won't find elsewhere. It has the usual ABS plus EBD that most of the competition already has. But it is the only one that has these crazy safety features. Hill start assist control, hydraulic brake assist, traction control system, vehicle dynamics control, electronic stability control, tire pressure monitoring system, dual front airbags, and a 360-degree view camera. It has an 8-inch touchscreen multimedia with Bluetooth connectivity. It has comfortable, luxurious brown leather seats. And at the same time, it has a multifunction steering wheel and so much more. The Jack T8 is your partner for the long haul. Jack as a company has over 55 years of experience building heavy-duty commercial vehicles. Jack has been known to be building quality and durable heavy-duty commercial vehicles and that's the same technology that we are bringing in into the PA. During the launch, JAC Motors revealed the suggested retail prices for the T8 Luxury, 928,000 pesos, and the T8 Ultimate, 998,000 pesos. At these prices, those who have gotten to see the T8 up close and personal and experience riding it and driving it unanimously agree 
that JAC's new pickup will fare well against the competition. With the price, definitely it's way ahead of the competition. Uh, I just hope more people give it a chance and they can see the performance and how reliable it is. And you know, I think once we get over that hurdle, sales are just gonna pick up for sure. And I think the T8 with its styling, good performance, great uh, road manners, and the features that it has, and most importantly, the pricing of it, I think it will eat up uh, a part of the pickup market in the country.